Netgear Wi-Fi range extender, let's see what we get in the box. Okay, so this is the Wi-Fi range extender that I got in the box. Let's get it open, let's see what we get inside. So this is the internal box of the box that I just received from Amazon. So let's have a closer look at it and let's plug it in and let's <coughs> try to extend the Wi-Fi range. The box itself seems to be made from good quality cardboard and contains all of the most important information. The graphics in the back of the box explains what is the basic role of Wi-Fi range extender aka repeater. Inside of the box you will find a number of leaflets and of course a colored manual with all the necessary information and setup and installation guidelines. All steps required for the initial setup are explained in proper manner, so you should have no problem with initializing the device. The device itself comes in a sealed plastic bag, it is quite heavy so it probably has a heat sink inside. I have to admit that the quality seems to be very good. Let me take a couple of close-up photos so you could see the details of the device. According to the manufacturers, the device has two Wi-Fi modules, 2.4 and 5 GHz, thus two aerials. Setting the first connection should be extremely simple using WPS authentication. You just press the WPS button on your router and then on your device and you should get the connection instantly, so setup should take seconds. I will cover manual settings in one of my next videos. My biggest concern was distance that the device covers, so to test it out, I went outside and I did test 2.4 and 5 GHz separately. This is what I have to say after performing the test outside. So first of all I used extension need to get a bit of electricity outside. I rest the device on top of my girlfriend's car, I established connection with the Wi-Fi range extender and I started my walk around or actually a couple of walks as it took me around 30 maybe 40 minutes. The speeds that I was getting were quite impressive when close to the repeater. When close to the repeater I was getting around 200 mega bits per second but I think that's my mobile's max and we would be getting more and of course the speeds were dropping with the distance. 2.4 GHz mode as well as 5 GHz mode I easily got 100 meters range it is around 330 feet if you live in US I would say that uh, with this very mobile phone that I was using LG V20 150 meters or around 500 feet range is possible but of course with significant drop in megabits per second speed. Overall this Wi-Fi repeater seems to be fully legged and I do like it. I will be covering Wi-Fi routers and repeaters soon in some of my future videos, so stay tuned. Well that's it for today, remember about watching some other of my videos here, here, here and my lovely face to subscribe, here. That's it, bye bye!